I'm definitely having a case of deja vu. I had no low points in the season. Were you tricking me? Why are you walking me to the water? All Stars 5 feels different from season 10 because, uh, I don't know. I'm doing well. <laughs> Now I'm in the finals for All Stars 5 and the pressure is on. I'll tell you what's good about it though. I love the girls that I am in the top three with, which is for me really rare because I don't like people. I think that we're definitely the strongest uh, of the bunch and I feel like this is the appropriate top three for All Stars 5. First day of the competition, I couldn't read Cracker. I didn't know what Cracker was about. I uh, maybe got in my head a little bit about Cracker because he's so cute, first of all. Juju B is the hardest person to compete against because she will not let you keep a straight face. She had me laughing all of the time. She had me in the bottom waiting to be eliminated and also laughing. Cracker's really cute. Do you notice Cracker gained some weight? Cracker's like not gluten free at all. Ooh, I love that biscuit. Mm. I've had like a friend crush on Juju B for forever, so having the opportunity to work with her on this season has been so much fun. She is an amazing competitor and she's a true sister and she is so deserving to be here in the top three and I'm glad she's here. Shea kool is intimidating AF. She is so strong, she's talented. She, like, you can't break Shay, which is an incredible thing because I, like, I see a lot of my fears in Shay when Shay reveals her true self, you know? And um, yeah, she's all around so fantastic. I wanna be her. Competing against Cracker was um, quite pleasant. I feel like Cracker is a a great competitor that has a lot of integrity and that's kind of what you want in an all-star. Competing against Shea kool is scary because, you know, she didn't win every single challenge, but when you look at that girl, you know she has it in her to win every day. And I'm just like, don't let her. Miss Cracker is super talented and I, I've always known that. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with her on tours um, before this and uh, she's such a fun person and she has like a really unique point of view and uh, I mean, what's, what's not to love? I don't know what the other girl said, but this was my visualization of what the top three was. And I even called out Alexis and Blair. I just didn't know if it was flip-flopped. Mmm, flip-flopping. I'm aroused. What I excelled in most this season was comedy, which is crazy because I'm a comedy queen! I finally won a challenge, so that was an achievement. Cause you know, I never won anything in my life before. But um, well, except that one time in third grade, I guessed how many Tootsie Rolls were in that jar. And it was 69. My high point for the season was definitely the stand-up comedy challenge because that is where I live my life, on a stand-up stage with fake brick, like what is more New York? And speaking of fake bricks, Jujubee has been such a great friend to me. Winning my first challenge felt so good. It was finally that moment where RuPaul was like, Jujubee, you're a winner. And I was shocked. I was like, what bitch, what did you just say? I'm a winner. And I, yeah, guys, I want a seven day trip to Fort Lauderdale. Do you want to come? I would say Snatch Game was definitely one of my high points this season. It was just so much fun being able to play Flava Flay because I think the Shea kool brand is something that's, you know, polished and neat and um, presentational. So it was a lot of fun to just be wild and wacky and crazy and show people that I really do have a goofy side. Snatch Game was a low point in my life. You know what I mean? Like in the Lifetime original movie, that's when the music changes and it's like more sepia tones and yeah. I didn't expect to do as well as I did in Snatch Game. I was kind of nervous, so it was really nice to be able to do that this time. I still don't get how it works. Like honestly, I don't get it. I've had two times to try. For me, the biggest challenge was the sewing challenge. I am so, so with sewing. I usually just go to the mall for my clothing. Like this is really, really tough. And there was so many times where we thought the judges would think one thing and they totally went another direction. So I definitely had to learn to like continue to trust my instincts. You know what I excelled in most this season was actually trusting myself. And it's very cliche to say, but I actually believed everything that I did and I, I didn't regret anything. Like I would do it the exact same way. 
Girl, I don't think I was less in my head this season, but I think I followed my gut more. Like, I'm still a thinker, but I just try to ignore it as much as I can. I just learned to trust myself and not do anything that I thought um, wasn't authentic or true to me. I just cared less about what folks thought and just wanted to make sure that I was 100% myself. I've been able to leave my feelings at the door and just kind of come into this competition knowing that I'm going to be here till the end. I want that crown so badly, y'all. Like, I even got my hair cut for this crown. I'm gonna take that crown. To win would mean I would have a chance to say the things I wanna say, um, to make a difference, and talk about what I believe is important. And what I believe is important is uh, reclaiming drag for being a silly, safe place for everyone instead of a fashion fest, um, making drag and the rest of the world safe and happy for women, and uh, no more dark lace hard fronts. To win All Stars 5 would just be a dream come true. Um, this is something that I've wanted for so long, and I worked really, really hard to get here, both on my drag and on myself as a person, and I've grown immensely, and I feel my drag and my point of view and how I approach my drag is what is needed for America's next all-star. And so I would just love to walk out of this competition with a lovely shiny crown on my head, so. I think I deserve the crown because I've earned it. I, I think I've worked my ass off and the past few years of my life has prepared me for this competition. I didn't know that it has, but it has. And I'm grateful to be sitting here talking to you with these lights and these cameras and the people in this room. And I know that RuPaul trusts me as somebody who can hold this title. I just want to be a part of the Drag Race Hall of Fame, to be really honest, and I want that crown. Y'all can keep the money. I'll make that money. Give me the crown, bitch. What's Juju's platform, a cork wedge? I don't know. I deserve this because I've worked really, really hard and I feel like every step in my life has led me to this point and I'm just ready to just step into my destiny. Yeah, I wanna win. Who, do, who, who goes to a competition and says, I wanna make it to fifth? Sorry, Alexis. <laughs> She's gonna hate me more. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.